This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good afternoon. We're coming on the air right now because President Obama has just met with President-elect Donald Trump in the Oval Office. We saw Donald Trump fly down from New York earlier today. Uh, we have, as promising, to try to bring the country together. We heard that, of course, in his, in his acceptance speech on Wednesday morning. President Obama, when he spoke yesterday, says we all have to be rooting for Donald Trump's success. But, of course, in the wake of that, protests overnight in several American cities, thousands of protesters out in the streets, hundreds were arrested, protesting Donald Trump, including right here at the Trump Tower in Manhattan. The president and President-elect Trump met for about an hour in the Oval Office. Pool was brought in at the end. And Melania Trump, on her first visit to the White House, expected to have tea with the First Lady, also accompanied by their son-in-law, by Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, who's played a key role in this campaign, a key advisor to the president. Let's listen in to what we heard. Okay. Well, I just had uh, the opportunity to have an excellent conversation with President-elect Trump. Uh, it was wide-ranging. We talked about some of the organizational issues uh, in setting up the White House. We talked about foreign policy. We talked about domestic policy. Uh, and as I said last night, my number one priority in the coming two months is to try to facilitate a transition that ensures our president-elect is successful. Uh, and I have been very encouraged by the, I think, interest in President-elect President uh, Trump uh, wanting to work with my team around uh, many of the issues that this great country faces. And uh, I believe that it is important for all of us, regardless of party uh, and regardless of political preferences, uh, to now come together, work together, to deal with uh, the many challenges that we face. Uh, and in the meantime, uh, Michelle has had a chance to uh, greet the incoming First Lady, and uh, we had a, a, an excellent uh, conversation with her as well, and we want to make sure that they feel welcome uh, as they prepare uh, to make this transition. And most of all, uh, I want to emphasize to you, uh, Mr. President-elect, that, uh, that we now are going to uh, want to do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. Please. Go ahead. Well, thank you very much, President Obama. Um, this was a meeting that was going to last for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we were just going to get to know each other. We had never met each other. Uh, I have great respect. Uh, the meeting lasted for almost an hour and a half, and it could have, as far as I'm concerned, it could, could have gone on for a lot longer. We really, um, we discussed a lot of different situations, some wonderful and some difficulties. Um, I very much look forward to dealing with the President in the future, including counsel. Uh, he's, uh, he explained some of the difficulties, some of the the high flying assets, and some of the some of the really great things that have been achieved. Uh, so, Mr. President, it was a great honor being with you, and I look forward to being with you many, many more times in the future. Thank you, sir. President Obama making it clear right there wasn't going to take any questions after that meeting with Donald Trump. His first meeting ever with Donald Trump, apparently a cordial meeting, as you heard the president say right there, an excellent wide-ranging conversation. Donald Trump also saying it was a good conversation, said he would seek the president's counsel in the future. And Jonathan Carl, I want to bring you in. You've covered both men for a long time, a lot of animosity, even before this campaign. Of course, Donald Trump questioned uh, whether President Obama was even born in the United States. But that first meeting, apparently rather successful. Yes, and there was a question that was answered, George. At the end there, 
I asked Donald Trump if he was really going to seek the president's counsel, and that's when he responded at the very end saying he is a very good man. Uh, those were words that I hadn't expected to hear from Donald Trump uh, covering him all over these years. He talked about how he had respect for him, and he hoped to see him many, many more times in the future. Even made a reference, George, you heard there, to some of the excellent things that have been accomplished. Uh, so this was, uh, this was apparently a quite cordial meeting. As Trump mentioned, it lasted for an hour and a half. And I can tell you that while I was waiting to go inside the Oval Office, they, they have us, they had the, the, the pool waiting uh, right next to the, uh, to the colonnade. Uh, I noticed that Jared Kushner, uh, Donald Trump's son-in-law and close advisor, Ivanka Trump's husband, was walking around the South Lawn with Dennis McDonough, President Obama's chief of staff. They made that walk several times. That's a walk that the president often takes with his chief of staff when they discuss uh, weighty matters. They even made a uh, that, that was even where they talked about uh, the the uh, the bombing campaign that was to happen in, against Syria. Of course, didn't happen largely because of the, what the two men discussed on that walk. So it was very interesting to see not only the meeting between the incoming president and the outgoing president, but also the outgoing chief of staff and, and one of the incoming president's uh, most important advisors. And John, interesting that he's going to seek uh, President Obama's counsel, given the fact that so many of his promises on the campaign trail are to undo many of President Obama's accomplishments in his first 100 days in office. Well, and also giving the unbridled animosity that we have seen between the two men. As you mentioned, uh, Donald Trump questioned whether or not the president was even a citizen of the United States and therefore eligible uh, to be president of the United States. And President Obama made no bones about the fact that he believed that Donald Trump was temperamentally unfit to be commander in chief. Now we see the two of them uh, quite cordial words uh, for, from each, uh, each man. Uh, the president saying he is bound and determined to try to help uh, Donald Trump be a successful president, a uh, successful transition, because he thinks that will be uh, that would mean success for the country as a whole and this extraordinary statement from Donald Trump that he will be seeking counsel from from a man he once said was not a legitimate president. Cokie Roberts cordial words one of the rituals of democracy. Yes, but you know, I think that Donald Trump has learned uh, since the election that words really do matter. I mean, we had a dramatic instance of that where uh, after the uh, results were becoming clear, we saw the stock market futures drop by almost a thousand points, 850 points or so. And then Donald Trump made that very conciliatory acceptance speech and stocks started to go up. And then the, the uh, Hillary Clinton and the president made their a very conciliatory speeches yesterday and the market soared and that is something that it, it's very hard for presidents to learn is that their words really do affect peace and war they affect markets and Donald Trump is learning that very quickly and uh, is responding to it in a way that I think can make people feel a lot more comfortable and for the most part avoided questions with the exception of Jonathan Carl at that press conference Cokie Roberts John Carl thanks very much there you have it the first meeting between President Obama Obama, president-elect Donald Trump. Mr. Trump now heads up to Capitol Hill. He'll meet with the Republican leader, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. The Republican leader Mitch McConnell will be back with that.